Cross, Alan Smolanski, Mark Cross, and uh, the whole will come up right now is Ewan. Say hello to my little friend. I got a couple things here. A little bear tricks. Let me take a hit real quick. I don't know if you guys have seen this thing. Here, happy Halloween, boo! I'll leave these to, uh, I'm waiting all day for this. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh, shit. All right, whatever. Did you see the, the bridge collapse thing? The boat and the bridge? That was cool, right? It was like, uh, it hit the Francis Scott Key Bridge. That's right, kind of ironic, right? Like, oh, say, can you see? There's a giant fucking boat coming! Yeah, the boat, uh, it was actually from Singapore, you know? I don't know if you guys know that. And I was like, ah, damn it, you know, Asian driver. <laughs> yeah, that boat, it was, uh, on the news, it said it weighed like 200 million pounds. Damn. Yeah, that's a lot of weight, right? It actually was even heavier before. It was actually 300 million pounds. But my ex-wife, she got off the boat. Uh, uh, yeah, my name's uh, whatever, Ewan. I was born and raised in LA. I grew up mostly in Pasadena area, but I come down to LA, you know, to help out the parents and shit on the weekends, whatever. Like, you ever go to a liquor store and see, like, little Asian kids back doing homework and stuff? That was me. And sometimes I'd have to translate for my parents. It's kind of weird, right? Because they're my parents, you know, they're the parents, right? And like, hey, mom, uh, the policeman says he's going to give you a ticket for going too slow on the freeway. Yeah, he says you got to go faster than 35. Yeah, I was in the army when I was uh, there, like border in Texas. This kind of thing. What? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was weird being the only Asian person though. You know, every day people just look at me like, "Are we supposed to shoot this guy?" <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool being in the army. You get a lot of benefits, you know. It's pretty cool. But probably the best benefit I would say is the ability to give old men hard ons. <laughs> yeah, old men—they love hearing army stories, you know. I guess, yeah, I guess because it makes them feel younger or gives them hope for the future or something. But like, if I meet some old men in a park and I start telling them army stories, it's like he'll come all over me. Uh, uh, let me grab it really quick. Ah. Yeah. Oh yeah, my dog. Uh, she's cool, you know. So much, but I, I noticed she gets really confused about my farts, you know. <laughs> She'll be like, What the fuck? Did your ass just bark at me? Mm -hmm. You got some bad breath. Okay. Yeah, your kid, your parents ever hit you when you were growing up? Yeah, my mom used to get a coat hanger and she'd make me stick my hands out and shit. She'd like hit my hands and shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was like, What the hell, mom? Can't she just hit me with like a belt or something? Like, what next? You're gonna give me a fucking algebra test? Mm -hmm. You know, make me carry buckets of water up a hill or something? Yeah, I noticed like a lot of uh, anti gay cultures are actually quite gay. Like an uh, Arab culture, for example, right? You know, they're, uh, they're really harsh on their LGBTQ community. But uh, Arab men openly hold men hands in the street. Like, how hypocritical is that, right? Mm -hmm. They're like, don't act gay! La 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 la. And Russians too, right? They're world famous for being violent toward the LGBTQ. But uh, I was watching the Olympics once, and after this guy did his jump, instead of high-fiving his teammate, he like kissed him on the mouth. It wasn't just a peck either, they were like really going at it. <laughs> like, we no tolerate the homosexual in Russia. Come me. <laughs> and it seems in men in other cultures, they seem to enjoy like a level of intimacy with each other that we lack out here. And I've seen it, you know, because I was in the army, right? The army is very anti-gay because it's so gay. Yeah, those like you're always like constantly forced in these situations where you're like surrounded by other dudes, and you're either totally naked or mostly naked. Like the shower is a perfect example, right? Mm -hmm. There used to be this one guy who'd be in the shower every time, a rock hard boner. <laughs> yeah. At the time, the policy in the army was don't ask, don't tell. Nobody had to ask if this guy was gay or not. <laughs> He's all knocking over shampoo bottles. 
yeah, it's shocking, man. You walk in the shower room like, what the fuck? That ain't soldier. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to be hardcore in the army, but not that hard. Not that core. All right, I'll end with this. Uh, did you guys see the Oscars? Yeah, that's cool, right? Towards the end, I was like getting excited. I was like, hey, look, they're bringing back the mummy. But then I saw again, I was like, oh, no, that's just Al Pacino. Yeah. All right, my name's Ewan, I'm out of here. Thank you. Woo! That's Ewan. What would be more scary?